thick of summer which for some people means a beach vacation but while you're basking in the glory of the sun your skin has turned two shades darker due to the sun tan and nobody likes that Hi guys I'm Kiran and today I'm going to show you a tan removal body care routine Hold on before we dive into it let me here remind you to hit that subscribe button to our be beautiful channel and ring the bell icon that way you won't miss out on any of our weekly uploads If you're still watching this video then you sure as hell are either planning to go on a vacation or are already back from one with a whole lot of sun tan Either way is good decision let me walk you through a really good tan removal body care routine Also I thought let me give you some extra gyan so at the end of each step of the routine I'm going to share some fun facts regarding suntan watch out for those First let's start with the face The first step is to exfoliate but before you do that ensure that your skin is clean that way your pores are open which in turn will allow the exfoliator to work its magic even deeper think of it like a warm up before your workout it helps to prepare your skin for the hard work ahead but the key reason for adding a scrub in your tan removal routine is the fact that gently exfoliating the skin will help remove pigmented dead skin cells from the outer layer of the skin This can reduce the appearance of the tan. Personally, I've been using the Lakme Sun Expert D-Tan Scrub. Take a dollop of the scrub and apply it evenly on the face. Massage the face gently in circular motions. It is formulated with oatmeal extract and walnut shell powder, which is a natural exfoliant. It deep cleanses the pores, gets rid of the dirt and reduces tan while being gentle on the skin. I would recommend exfoliating at least once a week in order to get rid of that tan eventually. But as always, listen to your skin, determine what works best for you. Now it's time for fun fact number 1. Did you know that sun tanning actually damages your skin's DNA, which can lead to premature aging and an increased risk of skin cancer? Once the scrub is rinsed off, go ahead and apply a face mask. If you want to get rid of that tan, a vitamin C mask is a must try. Vitamin C is an antioxidant that helps to even out your skin tone, bringing back that natural radiance. You've got to try the Simple Protect and Glow Vitamin C Brighten Clay Mask. Just apply it all over your face and let that powerful blend of vitamin C, niacinamide, yuzu lemon ginger and bentonite clay work their magic. This mask removes impurities, unclogs pores and leaves your skin with a healthy looking glow. Fun fact number 2. I'm pretty sure that you guys didn't know that tanning can be actually addictive. The sun's rays can actually trigger the release of feel good hormones called endorphins, which is why some people just can't get enough of that sun-kissed look and seek out for more exposure to the sun or tanning beds. Lastly, I like to finish off my face tan removal routine by slathering on SPF. My go-to right now is the Lakme Sun Expert Tinted PA SPF 50 Plus Plus Spray. And let me tell you, it's a game changer. This tinted sunscreen spray has SPF 50 PA Plus Plus, so it's basically a shield against the sun's harmful rays. Plus, it's lightweight and gives you a smooth and even finish. Just shake the bottle, spray it onto your palm and apply it on your face and neck. The best part it doesn't leave that gross sticky feeling on your skin. And get this it's super travel friendly so you can take it wherever you go and reapply it every 2 to 3 hours. Now let's move on to removing tan from the body. Now for the body in all honesty it can be different than how your face tans. Different in the sense that some parts of your body get more sun tan than others and that's how we end up getting those funky tan lines. And the best way to fix these tan lines is by incorporating a body exfoliator. A little pro tip, always use a different scrub for your face and your body. Facial scrubs are gentler and have finer particles compared to body scrubs that are tougher and remove skin cells better. My go-to body scrub is the Dove Exfoliating Polish Scrub with pomegranate screeds and shea butter. Just scoop out a generous amount and massage it all over your wet skin. Pay special attention to your tan lines and also your elbows, knees, feet and heels as these areas tend to develop dry patches easily. Once done, just rinse it off. Time for fun fact number 3. While tanning can have negative effects on your skin, exposure to sunlight is also important for the body to produce vitamin D which is necessary for bone health. 
After exfoliating your body, you need a trusty body wash to wash away any remaining dirt and dead skin cells. My personal favorite is the Love Beauty and Planet Coffee and Warm Vanilla Sulfate Free Body Wash. To use it, just hop into the shower or bath, wet your skin and lather up with a small amount of this magical potion. This coffee and warm vanilla scent will make you feel like you're in a cozy cafe. While the organic coconut oil works its magic to hydrate and soften your skin. Plus, this body wash is free from sulfates, parabens and those yucky chemicals that can irritate your skin. Time for fun fact number 4. Did you know that people have been using self tanner since ancient times? In ancient Egypt, for example, people used a mixture of mud and water to darken their skin. As a finisher move, just like how I protected the face by applying SPF, I'm going to use a calming body serum with SPF to do the same for my body. This is the Vaseline Sun Protect and Calming SPF 30 Body Serum. It has the right amount of SPF for when you're out in the sun. Just pump out a dollop of this lotion and spread it all over your body. I make sure to cover every inch of the skin to be extra safe from those pesky sun rays. Oh, and did I mention that this lotion has neem extracts? It's like a soothing balm for your skin after a day out in the sun. Don't forget though, you need to reapply it every 2-3 to three hours to make sure you're getting the best sun protection. And lastly, here is fun fact number 5. People with lighter skin tones tend to burn more easily and tan less quickly than people with darker skin tones. So these were some tips on tan removal body care routine. Do try them out and let me know how it worked for you in the comment section below. Time for me to go but don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your besties and hit that subscribe button along with the bell icon so you never miss out on all my latest beauty adventures. Stay gorgeous. Bye.